know what's annoying? Those Google Plus notifications on YouTube that says, Oh, so-and-so just commented on this other person's video. And it has, like, nothing to do with you. I wonder how I can turn those off. What's up guys? So, like I said, I'm only doing vlogs when I actually have something to say. So hopefully this doesn't run long, but I wanted to do like a quick little TV review. Um, so I know this happened I think maybe two, three weeks ago, but it's about the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, I know, it's a kid's show, don't care. It's part of my childhood. I love the Powerpuff Girls. If you follow me on my cosplay page on Facebook, you would know I love the Powerpuff Girls. So when I heard that they were going to be coming back on TV, I was really excited about it and I thought it was gonna happen like last year, like a lot of people did. and. Uh, there was like a list of other cartoons from our childhoods that we thought were coming back last year and it like never happened so that was kind of disappointing but yet people are still pumped and excited about it I know people who are super huge fans of Sailor Moon are just you know sitting on the edge of their seats waiting for it to like come back so Anyway, I wanted to talk about the Powerpuff Girl thing that was on Cartoon Network. It was a special, and I thought it was just gonna be like, you know, them rebooting the series, but it wasn't. It was just a special, and I'm kind of disappointed uh, that it isn't a full length thing, because I wouldn't mind like watching a whole season of it just to see uh, what it would be like like now compared to like back then. Um, but uh, first of all, my first impression of like the whole special thing was uh, I was a little hesitant and kind of scared because of the, uh, the concept art they were posting. Uh, between last year up to the point when they showed the special and they showed that the uh, animation style was completely different. Uh, the designs of the characters were practically the same but with the new uh, animation is com that made it look weird. Uh, I don't know I kind of felt a little uncomfortable but I was like you know I, I still want to give it a chance I don't want to dismiss it, so saw when the date was for when the special was coming on. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch the special. Hope's great. And I'm kind of, I'm still excited. I'm going in with an open mind. And um, some of the pros. So the animation was kind of cool. It was different. Uh, I don't think I've, I don't know, seen something animated that way. Uh, it's kind of like a slightly 3D, not quite 3D. Um, I guess you have to see the picture to like, if you've seen the picture of it then, then you understand that that's pretty much what it looked like. Um, it took some adjusting but I mean it is an interesting direction and um, I don't know if other cartoons that are on net right now have done that style before because I really don't watch a lot of the newer cartoons now because I think they're really terrible and not funny and they they're completely dumbed down in my opinion and I'll probably talk about that more like later on something else but um for now yeah I thought it was okay um the energy was there it was just the same you know good Powerpuff Girl energy in there. The characters were, you know, pretty much, you know, about the same, more or less. Uh, yes, yeah, it was, was alright, um, but I think the negatives kind of weigh it down, so I'll just talk about the cons. Um, 
Okay, so I so said the animation's good, so yeah. Um, the characters, well, I said that they're practically kind of the same as they were like back then. They even had the same voice actresses for all of the girls. Um, I don't know if all of the original voice cast was for the other characters like the mayor and Professor uh, Utonium and uh, Mojo Jojo, but. Yeah, that, that was fine. I was happy about having original cast members. But I thought the personalities were a little bit different than what they were from the original. Uh, it seems like Bubbles was more airheady, if that's a word, more of an airhead than she usually is. It's like she was really. She just seems stupider. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just my perspective. Buttercup seemed a little bit meaner than she usually is. I don't know. There's something different about the girls. And Professor Newtonium was not I don't know. He seemed more goofy than he than what I remember him being. And this isn't me pulling out like memories of me watching the show like years ago. Uh, no. This is like the last time I've watched Powerpuff Girls was over winter break because uh, at I'm home uh, we get the channel uh, Boomerang and I can watch Powerpuff Girls every day, every weekday. But here in my apartment, I don't get that channel, so I don't get to watch it all every day. So yeah, this isn't like me trying to remember stuff like years ago. Like I, I it's recent memories. But yeah, he just seemed more goofy, and the mayor seemed like like he lacked a lot of intelligence. That like the mayor's kind of ditzy and kind of dumb and at times and I don't know he seems like very helpless because you I mean you he asked for you know the girls help to open a pickle jar and relies on Miss Bellum a lot but he just seemed like that's that's all he is is dumb and he didn't have much going for him I, I don't know um the whole structure of the show I didn't really like very much it just seems very schizophrenic. Like, there would be a story, but then it would, like, sidetrack to something else for a quick minute, just for, like, a quick laugh, and then go back to the story. And it confused me, and I didn't like the, the structure at all. Like I said, it just felt very schizophrenic. And I know the Powerpuff Girls has their, like, funny moments and, and stuff, but it flowed more effortlessly in the in the original than it did in the special or it just kind of jumped all over the place i just didn't like that at all but despite that like what like once it ended and i'm just like oh i feel like a little disappointed on how that turned out but i'm willing to give it a chance so maybe I'll watch, you know, like the next episode. Maybe it'll be a little better. Maybe the personalities will be better. Maybe the structure, the story structure would be less uh, schizophrenic and just more smooth and stuff, but still funny. Like the funny parts weren't as, you know, I don't know, it wasn't as funny to me as like the older ones and I I don't know, maybe I'm losing my humor, maybe it's an age thing, maybe it's nostalgia, I don't know, but I just wasn't completely feeling everything that was going on in the Powerpuff Girls special like I, I wanted to. But yeah, I was just thinking once it ended, I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll watch, you know, the next episode. Maybe I'll feel a little bit differently, but I'm willing to give it another chance. And if it's a little better, you know, I'll at least give it, you know, two, three more episode chances before I'm like, no, I don't want to watch this. This is kind of dumb. Um, but I found out it was just a special, so... 
guess I'll never know how that would have went, but I mean, if I'm not interpreting this right and there really is going to be like a series or something later, uh, please let me know because yeah, I want to give this new Powerpuff Girls like a chance for sure. So yeah. So what did you guys think about the Powerpuff Girls special? Did you like it? Did it live up to your expectations? Uh, yeah, give me your thoughts and I'll see you guys next time. Have an awesome weekend. Peace. <laughs>